All right, and there we go. All righty. Right. So, Stanley Parable, yeah, so the Ultra just... Deluxe Edition. This took forever to set up, and I hate this person talking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear it now? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I could hear all of it. Otherwise, I would have said something. Yes, I can regrettably hear the clicking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, well, let's start it. So right, is this like got... a DLC, or it's is this like a like, new game, or...? It's basically the entire old game. Okay. With new content, oh, new okay. endings, oh. and new graphics. Alright, well let's try it. I mean, it looks the same to me so far. Except for Ultra Deluxe. Ultra Deluxe. And the audio in the background. I'm pretty sure the first game didn't have this audio in the background. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, so our job is to find all the endings, I guess? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh god, I gotta load that a little bit. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Oh god, it's like all... Actually, that might be the stream that's all graphical in the background. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push. How long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Okay. And although others might have considered it soul winning, yes. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Alright. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up. Oh, do you think they give a proper broom closet ending this time? Or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company. <laughs> you think so? This complete isolation. I'd say it was still proper Something back then. <laughs> Alright, I think soul. there's an ending if Stanley we wait in the center here. For the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So you just stayed around here? Is there anything you... Oh, well that's the new. time is wrong. The time is wrong? They asked me to set the time and that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's related to something else. Oh wait, you oh. gotta wait, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. The controls are floaty. I press right and then I glide. Ooh. And I think you have to close the door. There we go. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. There you go. What I if got he it. had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy. Forever. This computer is my I will rock. Be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, <laughs> they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. Did this uh, creator ever make another new game? He will be told what to what? do. Did this creator ever make another game? A little bit closer. I don't know. Hmm. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. This should be said, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, isn't there a way you could jump out the window? Oh yeah. Left here. And then I know that one. All of his co-workers were gone. What that could window. Mean? Is there a way you could jump by pressing spacebar? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh? Oh yeah, there's no jumping, you have to do that, and then do it, and whoop! Okay, that's another ending. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. I love that. He then that. the game for its insightful <laughs> and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of I wish Elden Ring could do this. Tropes. So, <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? 
Why don't we take a minute just to I swear if you broke outside the boundaries of the game at this duration, okay, so I'm playing, I, I would know. lose my mind. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, actually, you can see the orb. Oh, are there different endings? It just resets uh, you, right? Uh, it actually makes you go back and do the same ah, thing again. Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? <laughs> Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Yes. Clearly, this whole gang. All right, I guess time. we're going to. <laughs> what if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Way too oh, long. This is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other continue? option. Continue? It was Indeed, there a continue you option? Are one of the lucky ones. Though, just if yes. the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. No, I mean at the starting menu. In fact, I'm just going uh, to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Don't know. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. <laughs> I don't think anything happens if you stay here, so I'm just going to restart the game. What happens if you press no again? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Is there a way to get around it? Look around a little bit. No, it's just a wall. Okay, what happens if you go back? Pretty much just in a box here. You're in a box. What happens if you crouch? Dun, 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 dun. Nothing, just a cube? Okay. <laughs> There's only one ending I refuse to do. Uh, I thought we were going to do all of them. The baby ending? I don't know what that ending is. That requires you to sit there for four hours clicking a button. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not good for that. <laughs> like, the first two hours is you clicking one button, and then the next two hours is you going back and forth clicking two buttons. I've never even heard of that. The, oh, what is it, uh, the Transcendence ending? Go look it up, it's absolutely horrible. <laughs> oh, have you looked up all the endings already? No, I've, I've walked, I've seen all the original ones. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Bonsai! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. I have. Until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? It's Isn't horrible. It's a fun and unique place to be. <laughs> no. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Absolutely. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, <laughs> but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want, like right now. You could have done it just then. Oh. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. No one. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. Nah. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. Oh, the window is so still there. Yes, the that's envelope. weird. I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how <laughs> long you can maintain. <laughs> There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old, and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. Was there music last time? His brain had long <laughs> ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. <laughs> you too 
would become quite unbearable. I assume when you get an achievement, you get an ending. I can't see the uh, the achievement pop up for getting the ending. Oh, I haven't seen any pop up oh, either. Oh, really? Okay. I wonder if I have my notifications off. Uh, no, I, I don't. I get achievements and other stuff. All right. I guess these just don't count. I know one way we can figure out if one gives us an ending. An Real fake ending? <laughs> uh, it's the one we... Yeah, I'll show you when we do it. The primary ending? Well, yeah, that. Okay. Uh, do you want to go right or left? Well, we could just follow the ending first and then start goofing around after that. Yeah, see what's different? Yeah. I think this music just plays infinitely. I forget. I bet this is on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> like a two hour long uh, mix. Oh, what, this song? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it does just loop endlessly. But there's like two versions. There's the version with the lyrics and the version without the lyrics. Yeah. Should I just restart now? Or... I don't know how long this goes on for. I forget. <laughs> Go for it. Just restart? Yeah. That's like the other one. Alright. Oh no. Oh, no. oh. I think if you go too quickly, he will get mad, right? And you can do another yeah. that way. All of his co-workers were gone. Keep going. What could it mean? Hold on. Get to be Stanley like quick. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What if it's in the scene too? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. I mean, of course, this is going to be there. Difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Wait, was this an ending? I don't think this was an ending in the last one. Yeah, it is. Well, it's an achievement. Oh, is it not in this one? Come on, no, you have to do it for a while. Is it this door? Or is it another door? Uh, let me look it up. I have my phone next to me. Come on, let me in. Let me in. Wait, did this door, like, actually open? No. <laughs> it's a joke. He should have said it by now. Come on. Or is it a different door? Get it going. You can't stop. Oh, please. oh, there we go. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement <laughs> is worth? Yes. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm, I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 <laughs> clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. <laughs> I bet it's easier if you use a controller. No, I refuse to go to a controller. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably easier on your head as well. I'm not a fan sign. It's my right one. It's bad. Something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Asshole Stanley. Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. But why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Da, 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 da. Let's go get it. This is for... Uh... I could have sworn one of these opened if you did something, now, but I don't remember what it is. What's up? Is it this one? Yep, here's door 37. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. <sighs> Must get to door 415. <laughs> yeah. Now back to door number 437. <laughs> I wish there was a sprint button. <laughs> I wonder if you can unlock things now, like a uh, like uh, one of those um, How about you click on, well, GTA know, or the copy machine. What's the other game? GTA and what was the other one? Oh wait, the copy machine was another one. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. All right, back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling it now. I, think I don't know, like cheat somewhere. codes, like uh, silly modes or something. Yeah, there is. Okay, now go climb on hmm. employee 419's desk. Oh, yeah, and then the compute button ending. Oh, come on. Get up there. Get, get, come on. You can do it. Awaiting <laughs> input? Is there a passcode? It, it's the button ending. I forget how to do it exactly. Uh, come on. 
Oh, come on, let me up there. Oh, come on. Not being able to jump stinks. I mean, you're able to do the other desk so easily. I think you gotta climb the other desk and like move on to that one from there. Uh. Come on, four one nine. Maybe not. Oh, come on. Well, what's up with this one? Uh, 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 uh. It's just being weird. Uh, uh. Come on, let me up there. Let me up there, you bitch. Come on. Hmm. I wonder what the input is. Is it a door? Is that how you unlock the uh, hidden hallway, quote for quote? Well, you just gotta keep clicking computers, and it, you have to do it through like five different endings, like huh. five different playthroughs to get that one. But yes, ah, there we go. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, standing. Uh, I can look at a lighter. Right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door four one six. The only reason I don't want to do it is we have to like make a commitment not to do any other endings during it. We've almost got it! Now the I mean, if you do the main ending, that it's pretty quick, again. right? Well, oh wait, that was the copy machine. Uh, no, it's because some endings completely reset the game. Finish it off, Stanley! Wait, which Five one's completely reset? On door four, three. Yes! Oh. We did it! Oh, do you see the achievements? Oh, wow. No. That felt amazing. Oh, okay. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far... Can you go back into your office? Just think. Only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five Oh wait, uh, be careful though, for the well, daylight reason, I guess. Yeah, it's close. Ah, oh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can only imagine the dialogue if you just go back. Yeah, the button ending. Like, if I were to go click this. Oh, come on. There we go. And now, next time we do this again, I'll have to look for another computer that has it. And it's different computers. Oh, okay, well we can do that. That's pretty easy. Wait, so which ending is total reset? Oh, I honestly forget. I just remember there's like a couple endings that completely reset the progress or mess with, mess with it. Mm. I forget right, which so... way he wants you to go. Do we just want it's... to go the way he wants first? Yeah, let's just do the main thing. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But the right looks so tantalizing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's more, there's going to be something interesting, right? Yep. If there was just nothing special, I would like kind of lose it. Yeah, well, there's not a single person here either. Things look the same. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Broom closet. Okay, Chris had the broom closet. <laughs> Wait, is that new or did, was that no, already in there? It's all the same. As far as I could tell, it's the same. Okay, Chris out of the broom closet. Interesting. Uh, do we dare do the room closet? No, let's do that later. <laughs> and then going down is the... Coming to a staircase, one. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I believe there's a different thing you get if you, uh, you put the code in before he tells you. That's the... What? Was there a way to get to the... Oh, that actually opens now? Oh, that's new. That's... That's new. Okay. No, let's we'll go. No, 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 no. Now oh, I'm curious. Oh, oh. No, new content. Oh, come on, we come got on, new stuff. content. Let's go. <laughs> it literally appeared right in front of us. This never opened last time. Yeah, it didn't. Uh. Uh, because the boss knows that. Because <laughs> the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Is that a tongue twister, or is that supposed to be a tongue twister? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. What? That... Keep That's clicking it. Wait, click it. Is it a door? Oh, you can just click on everything. Okay. Okay. I guess if you sit on the toilet, that's the ending. What is the... Can you flush it, maybe? Wait, can you climb out the window? What's different here? Wait, can you unbolt the window first? I'm clicking on everything. What is what is here? We might have to do something and then come back here. But this is definitely one of the new ones. Yeah, this is definitely... Or maybe it was like a hidden thing last time. Because I... I do not remember this door ever opening. I remember it not opening either, which is weird. 
Okay. Hey, uh, special needs. Main... Oh, I was kind of hoping it would change different <laughs> paths. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we already exited, and does that open now? It. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's the panda. Okay. The panda. What? I, I just remember that being a, paint, a business strategy. That's new. That is. Just be, be, being able to enter here is new. Yeah, there's more pathways now. Oh boy. Interesting. I thought there would be more pathways, so that's interesting. Shall we just go back and do the main, or yeah, let's come back just do to the main and then go okay. back to this? And then I know you could, uh, like, get, uh, back out before these doors shut, and that's another ending. Yeah, but let's just do the main ending. Let's do the ending where you put in the code before he tells you, yep. and then you could do the backs out ending. Unraveled, Stanley Is there anything Robin new in the office? Who orchestrated this? What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, Can you five. sit in the boss's desk? Of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Ah, uh, no, Stanley is the new boss ending. So it's two four eight five. Yeah, two eight four five. I think. Ah. Uh. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I don't want to though. Does he get passive aggressive if you don't? I don't know. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. 2485, just gotta remember that. Yeah. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, can you go back up? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I guess we can try that next Stanley time. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. What is escape. <laughs> Let's do the primary ending first. <laughs> uh... Oh wait, this is also a choice, isn't it? I know you're not at the choice yet. An room with Can you jump oh. over this ledge or something? What horrible secret did this place hold? I don't know. To yeah, you I know, can like climb on the, the desk and like jump out. off. I, I know if you wait here for a long time, you get the disco ending. Huh. I don't know if you've seen that one before. No, I haven't. Now the monitors jump to life. Fire. Their true nature revealed. 47, 47. Each the number of an employee in the building. My desk! Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this What's place. What's that? Where freedom meant nothing. Uh, just looking around. Huh? What? That was, was that new? Was what new? There was something blue on that screen. What do you mean? Oh, there is something blue there. What is that? Is it shattered? No, it says something. Two, three, four. Okay, that's interesting. So, so if we find room two, three, four. When we get up there, I, we might be able to read that better. Maybe. I, I know exactly how to get to that platform. It's my favorite ending. I don't remember. <laughs> This mind control. Then you are in for a treat if you do not remember. It was horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? I really want to do that one. It's fun. Happy with his boring mm. job, that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. Never. Unthinkable. 
Wasn't it? Never. Is it even possible? It couldn't be. He truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world. I wonder if the executive calls for a different next time. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and all right. for all. So we're gonna do one ending and then we'll do the other ending. Do you wanna do the faster ending first where he just says yes? Uh, I guess. Uh I wonder if they actually added a way to stop the nuclear detonation. Maybe. Because that was something that was never in the game before. There was no way to stop it. As far as I know. So we're just going to say yes, and then we'll... I'll start, I guess we'll look it up to see if there's a way to end it. Uh, I mean, we don't have to look it up. We can, like, look around. Last, he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. <laughs> okay. Poof. Poof. It's dark. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Can you head back in? It was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand. Or did he just wait in the dark? No longer would anyone tell him where to go. It's just a what to barrier. Do, or how to feel. Whatever Can you double back is, and go over the railing? Is. No, like, you step forward into the whiteness, and then you step back. The only thing no, I think the second you step no. out, it goes to the cutscene. stepped through the open door. But if you don't... Yeah. <laughs> ah. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new... Man Skyrim? ...before him. This was exactly the way. <laughs> I made jokes right that, now, like, if you lose the new Bethesda game, like, it just boots up Skyrim. And Stanley <laughs> was happy. You're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest difficulty loads up an entirely new game every time you die. Alright. So now we just gotta find the button, right? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, right, right, right. Stanley decided to go to the right. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, they appear on different computer screens, I think. Oh, here we go. Eh. Input receipt. What was the number again? Like 322 or something? Uh, it was like 2 something, so it's not on this floor. Oh, you got one of the alternate room layouts. Did Cause we? Normally, Because normally the door on the left and the right should be right here. But nope, you got another hallway. And now we go into the blue room. I've never seen this before. It's one of those random generation things. And there we go. Wait, go back. Like, there's got to be something here. What's... It's just random room layouts. Oh. That doesn't look right. Do I click on that door? Try thinking I, of the numbers. I, I just did. <laughs> See, because this isn't, because this little elbow section isn't supposed to be here, so I guess that's why the numbers are funny. You know, everything's dark. Weird. Yeah, sometimes you get uh, these funny layouts. 
Weird. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. And now we'll we'll just do it again and uh We'll just say no. Yeah, we could either do no or do do the escape. Up to you. Uh let's go upstairs again, see if anything's different up there. Uh what was the <laughs> wait, what was the key pad uh password again? Two four eight five. Yet there was not a two eight four person five. here either. Uh two four eight five. A wave of disbelief, okay. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. The boom closet calls to me. Coming to a staircase, <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, is the washroom in your parent? Nope. Oh! Oh, money in the morning, money in the evening, my focus, money crisp. <laughs> Uh, is there anything different if you click on it? Weird. So what? What are you supposed to do here? I don't know. What the heck? I wonder if you just have to keep coming through here in different playthroughs or have different things. Yeah, it's definitely possible. And then, of course, we're going to have to do that next time at some point. Yeah. Today. And then, of course, backing out. Uh, let's not do that. Let's just do the password Stepping thing first. Into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Yeah, it's 2845. Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing Shit. through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf. Looking behind paintings, D Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as there we as go. Possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. I wonder if this music is actually different. It's gotta be right. Mm. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Oh yeah, you want to try sitting in here for, for a little bit and see if he changes his mind? I don't think anything. I mean, it might be new. Okay, now that's happening, so. Alright. And I think there's an option to uh, click on this up arrow once we go down. Uh, you wanna try that and see what happens? Sure. Because I don't think that was an option in the first game. Or should I say the original? The original game. Oh, it actually brings us back up. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into this is the new. elevator and went back out. Uh... Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I wait, there's no loading screen this time. Uh... Oh, wait, there might have a liar and a thief. So let's see what would be wise and wait. Look around. Oh, it doesn't look Oh, look it's now. not allowing. Ooh. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly... Wait, exactly try going to the washroom now. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This is fleshed out... What are you thinking about that? Story in new and I could enter code ways. again. I could have never anticipated. Well, wait for it to finish first. It's keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points. One after the other. Weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Alright, so let's go back down. Oh, I bet it does, but uh, try entering the password again. I wonder if we can keep going up and down, up and down. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll drive the narrator insane. Ah, it doesn't work that time. Uh, try going to the washroom. 
Yeah, the door doesn't open. Alright, try looking around. He mentioned something about going to the bookshelves before. Definitely something with another code, because you could use the keypad again. Alright, you ready to go through all of them? What, every single code? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, let's start with zero, 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 zero. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you could find a, another code laying around somewhere. Um, uh, maybe... Mm. There's gotta be something here, otherwise the code wouldn't be accessible again. Or, or it won't let me put it in while he was talking. No. Huh. Hmm. You think that code is lying around somewhere, or do you want to try messing around with the button to see if you find anything? Might be lying around somewhere in some room. All right, we can look around later. Let's go back down and back up again and talk it, back it, up. Let's go up again. Incredible! Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. See if it lays open. Up with all of this? <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. <laughs> it's time once again to go back up in it's the, the broom closet ending on legs. To grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense <laughs> is killing me. It might be something else, who knows? Maybe it'll bring us to a secret this is a special room. Oh, I'm too scared to go. Let me go back down. Come on. Okay. I wonder if something will actually change. <laughs> oh my god. It's the boss's office. That actually spooked me a little bit. <laughs> it did too. <laughs> it absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> Wait, that's a 3D model. What the heck? Oh, that's so weird. I kind of love it though. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move Try forward. Try the code with... again. No, no, wait. No, I need more time. To <laughs> I process. need more time. <laughs> 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 Uh, I missed this game. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> this music's fun. All right, I have fully come to terms with it. Have you? I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. I highly doubt that. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. There's got to be a lot of endings they added, because like it's. Oh kinda... yeah, they they want to completely remake the game with only like three extra endings. Yeah, I mean they would have to entirely remake the game, or maybe they wouldn't. I don't know. Yeah, it's the entire game with better graphics, with new content and endings. That's what it said. Try to go. Oh, okay. Okay. There's got to be something. We'll probably or find just, it later. Or it's just constantly going up and down and pissing the narrator off. <laughs> it, it'll loop back on itself at some point, so... Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did oh, did you try the door? I mean, sure, yeah, I did. Now it's obvious, okay. but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. <laughs> Honestly, I enjoy the repetition. Oh, let's just go again. Oh, let's go! Oh, and... I wouldn't get off because I feel like you would close the door immediately. Yeah. Oh, it's not oh. anything? He's probably going to say it in this section. Hmm. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on. What was that music? I knew it. He's just on the elevator. It's the anticipation. <laughs> you and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. Yes. Just 
The agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, <laughs> so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? No. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You exactly. Understand? It seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently oh, as possible. Oh, is he going to drop us? They want big, explosive moments flung right in their face. The elevator's going to explode. The moment that things get started. <laughs> but where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced... Okay, where's the old narrator I used to know and love who would just go insane and just jump on this plot line? Surprises? Jump scare? To think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. Is there anything hidden in the background you can see? exciting narrative to be developed in years. I meant like, uh, like on you. this side. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. I Truly, think they'd be I mean, different. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. Mm. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content <laughs> that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. I feel like... That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up to you. Just like this elevator. Why... Oh, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. Uh oh So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Oh, there it I is. I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. Uh -oh. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of... Is this, is this a uh, pun? Is he going to drop the elevator? on them for the better. Oh, good, we're here. Uh, yeah, this is definitely new. Ah, uh, yes, the red carpet, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Stand up. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Right. Let me back down! The elevator's the only thing I care about in life. Hey, try to get the doors. Not that it doesn't open. What a healthiest human being. <laughs> uh, you know what's the worst thing? These, these oh, that kinda... Be, uh, that, that should be Elon uh, Musk right there, you know? <laughs> yeah, it should be. These guys look like the magazine covers. Oh, I said Stanley. <laughs> live on stage. Uh, if there was a Stanley apparently live drama, I would lose my crew. Oh, yes, the baby. No, I'm going to let that thing go right into the fire. Ah, yes. Here it is. Oh, Just that ending. Go. Yeah. If you. That thing lasts for four hours. Never do it. <laughs> Wait, it lasts for a full four hours? Yeah, you have to do it for four hours before you get the ending. And the ending lasts like five seconds. Oh my gosh, really? What does that say? The man, the process, the myth, the legend, the parable, Stanley, from the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing you can click on the door? Oh. Alright, it's that door we have to go through. Oh, I'm walking right through the table. Okay. <laughs> oh, he has a book. <laughs> <laughs> Who the heck is that? <laughs> I think that's supposed to be Stanley, or maybe it's the uh, publisher. I don't know. Oh, Glados? No, that's not Glados. I think it's a reference to like something actual. Probably, yeah, because that's an actual crane arm. I kind of remembered there was a thing with a crane arm, but I don't. I don't remember the story about it. All right through the door. To uh -huh. stage. Anything the other way? No. Doing great. Conversation with Alexander the Great. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling. Oh my and god, he's just going to lead back to the detonation room. Narrative. Oh, don't worry, you'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Four two seven. Okay, it looks like they're... Wait, is that our room number? Go get him. That's his room number. That's his room number. But there's no computer. Break like champ. <laughs> My true love for your wife. Oh, <laughs> from the apartment ending. Wait, Man. does it say your wife? <laughs> yeah, from the apartment ending. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you remember that one. Oh, I remember that one. I love the way you ride elevators. No one tells stories, the way you. 
damn me. <laughs> Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. <laughs> My face is right up against the screen trying to read this stuff, so. <laughs> Remember where you came from. What is that? Mountains. <laughs> is that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, look, it's mountains and then a road. <laughs> I just like that there was like all eyes in here staring at Stanley. Yep, because all eyes are on Stanley. And what's that one? The Lord. The Lord. Meet in Greek. <laughs> uh... Okay. Yeah, here don't try so hard to read all of it because it's like. The dude who came up with pizza. <laughs> uh, if I remember, it was like an accident, right? Uh, don't know. And through the door. Whoa! Oh, what the heck? <laughs> the up and down. He jump over stage. Did you get an achievement for that? Nope. <laughs> oh my god. That wasn't uh, a real ending? No, no, that's an actual ending. It's just you don't get achievements for every ending. Oh, that's so weird. See if you can find the button. Wait, so, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? Find the button first. Find the button first. Find the button first. Stopped. Surely I was mistaken. This isn't an ending. It's just another dialogue of narration. No. No, the orders were still missing. For, for now. now. What do you mean by for now? Button, 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 button. But couldn't button. you stay in there and like um I don't know. Oh boy, it's on a different computer. Uh where else are there computers in this? Uh uh you want me to look up button ending? What is it called? I think there's one of the buttons is not in the detonation ending. Button. Like where the mind control yeah. facility is, but I just don't know the order of them. Yeah, look up where the other three are. Button three, four, and five. I mean, we could always come back to this one. It's just, you know, you have to do it between different endings. Oh, and that door's open. I like it when that happens. On the boss's secretary's desk outside the office. So we gotta go to the office oh, okay. again. Yeah. And I, I like it when that door's open. <laughs> It happens every now and then. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping this would actually open once. Well, we need to go the other way, so... I don't think I've seen this ending. The button ending? No, I don't think I have. It's very simplistic. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, I imagine the having to go to the left kind of makes it harder. Yet there was not a single person here either. Um, Feeling a wave of disbelief, this place differently? Stanley decided no, to go up to his boss's office, hoping not he yet. might find an answer there. Stay on target. Coming to a staircase. All right, uh, we can do the. Well, we gotta check the washroom office. first. Well, I'll click the button first. Boop. All right, and it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, it's the same. What the heck? Well, why is it? No, I haven't been paying attention to the paintings. Are these different? Uh, that one's the same. I don't know about that one. Let's see in post, I guess. Maybe if you just close the door. Wait, can you close the door while inside? There's no way this is just like a broom closet ending, right? No, nah, there's probably something much bigger going on with this. I have to assume so. I mean, why else would it? Yeah, why else would they add it after all this time? I can't help but feel like this is exactly no, why dude. he added it's it. No, yeah, it's, 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 it's a little joke. <laughs> Flush me down the toilet, god damn it. Uh, okay. Alright, so I guess you just quickly jump out now? Uh, Or we could do the escape ending. Oh nah, yeah, that's probably the... I think the escape actually... I think that one actually was... I mean, the... That one resets everything. So this time we'll do the launch pad ending. So if I could do it correctly. Okay, I think we all. Bingo. Haha! <laughs> Wait, try the washroom now. Uh. Okay, that sounds funny.
Yeah, no, only one uh, thing happened. Did the doors just become a void? Yeah, they did. Uh, that didn't happen in the original version. No, but let's just do this one first. No, try then... jumping out. Try... Try going into the void? Try going into the void. Alright, let's see what happens. I thought I heard almost something demonic. No, the... Oh! What the? Uh... That's interesting. Do I hear whispers? Once I started going into it, it started being really creepy. Uh, try going again. See? Try opening the door. See, look, things get dark. But nothing lets me through. Try clicking the door. Yeah, it's closed. Oh, what the heck? Try going yeah. back the elevator way. Down that new passageway. Yeah, it's locked. Oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're locked. I wonder if that was a visual glitch. Yeah, because I remember he, like, glitches out, like, he opens the room back up, and... If there's gonna be broken, isn't it? No? No, this one is just... This one's actually kind of boring. I'm just getting it out of the way. I don't remember this one at all. Well, you or, well, I it. kind of... I, I thought it was different. Yeah, because you gotta go all the way back. That void door was actually scaring me. <laughs> yeah, it was messy. You are now leaving. Oh, is this the baby one? No, that's not going on the right. Yep, it's just going up and up. Yeah, the next computer is on a desk 434 and finally on Stanley's computer, so... Oh, and then it's on Stanley's computer? Okay. Yeah. You didn't actually look at the ending, did you? Just how to get to there, right? Or did you accidentally spoil it yourself? Do, 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 do. I forget how far this goes up. I just know every time you go up, it gets darker and darker. Hmm. Do you need to go down or do you need to go up? No, you have to go up. Yep. Escape pod launch bay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, they didn't add anything new to that? Aww. It doesn't seem like they added on to the old ending, so that's an Yeah, that, that, was, that was one I was hoping they would add stuff to. Right. All of this co so right before gone. the two doors room what should be the mean? new button. Or, Stanley uh, decided to go to the right meeting here. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he Did couldn't find button? a trace of his co-workers. Yep. Okay. And... So the next one's on Stanley's desk? It should be. Alright, so we gotta do another ending then. Uh, let's do another left ending just so we get them all out of the when way. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Do you want to check out the elevator uh, right before the boss's office? Yeah, let's do that one this time. In the uh, group closet, it's yeah, another one of the ones we have to do for multiple endings. Answer. Feeling a wave of disbelief, but we'll see that for later. To go up mm. to his boss's office, oh yeah, we can also do the downstairs the ones. Stanley let's get all the upstairs <laughs> endings done first. Alright. I wonder if they added anything to the downstairs one. Can't you jump out that window somehow? I don't know. <laughs> to be rich is a crime. To commit crimes isn't it rich. What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Huh. Ah, so yes, you have to be, uh, you know, a criminal to be rich and a rich to be criminal. Okay. Yeah. Let me do something in here, goddammit. That is weird. It might just be extra detail. It might be funny. Okay. Huh. 
Huh? Why is it already open? Uh, wanna go in there and find out? Okay. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> is he... He's mad at us for doing that. <laughs> oh, are we still done. in that ending? <laughs> uh... Alright, I guess we'll try the detonation ending. We'll see if he says anything different. Do you want to press the button and go see if he goes mad again? <laughs> Stanley walks straight ahead through the large. All right. So do you want to do the new ending or the escape ending? Facility. I forget what the. I know what the escape ending does. It's just I'm worried about it resetting things. So. Okay. So let's just do this ending, do the button ending, and then do the thing. Yep. Oh yeah, you wanted to see uh, whatever room it was, right? On an yes. Room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley mm. himself, did he have the strength to find out? Oh wait, is the disco ending like something you have to completely restart again? I forget. Uh, well, let's not do it then. Now the monitors jump to life. Yeah, I want to know why two, three, four is like that. Each of an employee in the building. Can you we'll decide do room two, three, four? The lives of so many individuals reduced to images. I have no idea because that's new. I don't remember that being smashed or having. Wait, but there's a picture there, right? Which one's room two, three, four? That second one from the bottom. Yeah, but what, what's the picture on it when it turns to the TV? Uh, it looks it's, like it's the. It's an L-shaped office. All right, so let's check out that corner next time and see what it's, what that's well, for. We're on floor four because that would be the floor two. Well, let's look around at the L-shaped desks next time. This mind control facility—it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, I think with the disco ending, you have to get off this before it closes, and then all these gates open up, and you go back and click that. Hmm. But you could do that another time. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's so, control. So far, never. we've only seen one different Wasn't ending. It? Was it even possible? Yeah. <laughs> Had he truly spent his entire life what would that be like? blind to the world? I wonder what that ending would be called. Motivational speaker or something? <laughs> <laughs> Stanley's <laughs> parable. Controls labeled with <laughs> Maybe. emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his This is the one where we turn it back on, right? Yeah. Stanley decided that this machinery would never. Uh, but there's one where you used to walk away, right? Power over another human life, for he uh, would dismantle the controls remember. once uh, and for all. I think you have to go down to ele back down to elevator for that disco one. I don't know. <laughs> you really want the disco one, huh? It's it's cool. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on, and see if they change anything. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yep. After they kept you enslaved all these yep. years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. I want the power. Want control? Oh, Give me the power. I applaud your effort, I really <laughs> do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear well, detonators the door are there. to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm. Let's say um, two. Hmm. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it? Yeah, there's a door up there now. It's your time to shine. Right. Well, you for now, let's just do the button. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. 
Oh, this is uh, much better than what geez, I had in mind. Anything. What a shame we have so little time left to oh, enjoy it. Oh, that's new. Moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. Uh, go for it. More time to talk they added something new. Oh, you me. dick. Where go, quickly. What Move, means, quickly. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to wonder how we get that ending. I have to say this, though. This <laughs> does, that's just him spouting nonsense. I wonder if he if those are actually new endings now. Yeah, that's that's what I'm wondering, if like all the endings that the editor's talking about have been added. For everything he says, not, none of it's true. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around Is there another button? will be even better. Oh, my goodness. that's no. Thirty-four seconds left. Oh, but I'm enjoying this so much. Yeah, she had a way to end us. To hell with it! I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Okay, I, I, I try to get. Try to, try to get. There's a button combination. Time doesn't yeah. Okay, so blue three. Oh dear me! What's the matter, Stanley? One, two. Is it that you have no oh, we got to figure out the other one's fine. What you're supposed to be doing right now. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it on? I mean, look at you. Okay, Running so from three is blue. You can just guess the other ones. Screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this. I just want to see if there would be another number under. Well, you're going to run out of time. <laughs> he adds more time. Stanley, that this video game can be beaten. One soul. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? I think you messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stanley, you're in for quite a Me disappointment. Too. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. There's no you're purple. You're still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that right. you're powerless. There's definitely a way to stop this now. It's just, this is not a I think I messed it up. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control yeah. this world, that's fine. I think it's just blue. First, so you yeah. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to strike. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No end here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it come. Or don't. It's all the mm. same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second. Uh, you want to try again? Oh, yeah. okay. The moment we fade in until the moment I yeah, say, "Happily yeah, at the at the." Hmm. Okay. But they yeah. added a new door that you could get through. I'm pretty sure that door was there before. Yeah, it was, but it never opened up. That door was never opened. All right, I'm gonna this computer. Oh. Uh, uh. Here we go. Yeah, I've never seen this ending before. It's endlessly. You're stuck here forever. You, could, you just have to restart the game again. And even if you press all the buttons, they come back. If you press all the buttons... By the time you press one row of buttons, uh, the other buttons start coming back, see? Yeah, I see it. it it's just here meant for you to just press buttons endlessly. It's button heaven! It's pretty fun. Oh, I just got an achievement of saying you can't jump. How many times have you pressed space bar? Not much. I've just been pressing E a lot. Think, 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 think. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. I'm sorry. The new one? Yep, I'm sorry, new one. Uh, you wanna see if you can figure out the nuclear puzzle? Ah. Or do you want me to just look up the nuclear puzzle? Let's save that one for a little later. 
Uh, are you sure? Because that's like... I guess we could do the elevator ending. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, I made the uh, the elevator out. behind the bus's Stanley room. Hoped that he would one day see it's That's one ending I really want to do, but I'll save that for later. My favorite ending. But yeah, let's try that, that elevator now. When Stanley came to a set of Wait, is there any different in that room? Oh. Uh, Wait, what, try right? going back and see if you can open that door again. You, you can't. Unless they added it. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Like... Yeah, it's all new. <laughs> and you've clicked every door, right? Yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find... Why did the broke closet ending? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nah, it's nice here. Look, I got my tools. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just the broom closet is closet. the choice. No reason to still be here. See this broom? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's a broom. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Is and there anything he is, interactable? He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Nope. He's doing sweet FA. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yep. Standing around doing nothing? Yep. Why? Yep. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I love it. The broom closet ending is the best ending. See how it can never leave. Actually, that new ending is pretty good. No choice or yeah, that one's fun. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. whatsoever. It said broom no closet. Thought to mention it. If something has words on it, it's important. Uh, not necessarily true. Maybe to you, it is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom <laughs> closet ending? The broom closet ending. That's was exactly what people do. Great. I hope your friends find this concerning. Nope, they find it awesome because it's their favorite, too. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really. He probably only <laughs> got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. You have to go that far. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got <laughs> to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Appreciate Sorry, the have... step out of the hallway, then step back in. Yeah, the uh, you know, he was talking to someone else, but I have headphones on, so you know, no one could ever heard that I'm dead. Right. Okay. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Yeah, I can. You too. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. <laughs> I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. And yeah, that's it. We have to do 
go for another Try going back. Time. What? Try going back. Try clicking the broom. No, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. Wait, right, what if there's so... something in the executive washroom now? Mm. Coming right. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There's only... There should only be one ending down there. So yeah. do you want to try doing that elevator one or doing this one? Oh, let's try doing the missing word with the new elevator. Alright. Yeah, you can't... I, I can't do anything with that. I got a sword you could jump out that window somehow. I get the feeling money's for stealing. But not yours, of course. So that's a lovely... Oh! <laughs> Is this supposed to be like Stanley remembering things? I don't know. I think it's just the boss being a greedy guy. Maybe. Yep, still nothing to do in here. Yeah, and there's no words if you sit in here, so... <laughs> it's open again. It's open again. Alright, let's try this. Um... Uh, let's up go down. up! Ah! Classy elevator music. Mm, non copyright elevator music. <laughs> I wonder if the button you press matters. Wait, there's a note on the ground. Never mind. Why is this one glowing? Why is that one glowing? Can you crouch and I pick it up? Glowing too. It's like glowing blue. Can I crouch? I can't do anything with it. Recommendations from the Oversight Committee. Uh, a short history of the references. Uh, uh, I don't think it matters too much if you can't do it. hungry? Oh, the narrator is humming now. <laughs> was that you? I had to make sure that wasn't you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the narrator. <laughs> this is you not doing anything until you put I, I stand in this corner, I hear him. <laughs> Do you have to press a button again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Try going <laughs> down. <laughs> oh my gosh. If this is all this is here for, oh boy. Is it louder now? He's humming still. <laughs> Try clicking at the door, I guess. Yeah, if I stand in this corner, you can hear him. Maybe is try really going in and out of it a couple of times? <laughs> is that really all that's for? <laughs> There's no way. There's gotta be something here. Click on the door. Wait, what if you stand in the doorway where the elevator doors are closing? Oh, it blocks you. There's an invisible wall. Oh, you can't even sit through it at the last second? No. Nope. It becomes an invisible wall. Uh, try going back to the washroom then. Mm. I guess the next thing would be is to do the escape ending. 
Yeah, it's still the same. Mm. I guess we do the escape ending. Here's the door, just go. Ah, I can't see the... Dang it. Oh. <laughs> He's so hurt about this. <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Oh. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Uh, Basically, yeah. Uh, As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Isn't there another thing you could do here? Stanley, go squish! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Yeah. Oh, is this the one where you see all the endings? And yet it would uh, be just a few of. minutes before Stanley would restart the game. I wonder if they change anything in here. As alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh, uh, let's not look around too much since it'll probably spoil some of the endings. When every pass you can walk this has looks been same. created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Yeah, those are just those. Do you uh... see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? <laughs> Well, it's different every time. Uh, do you know the way straight to the exit? Yeah, I mean, you just gotta walk around. Doesn't look like they changed anything. Oh, wait, no, they have. Okay, there's new stuff. I'm not gonna look around too much. At least I think there's new stuff. Yeah, I assume so. Because this is the way out. This is the original ending. There isn't a way... Or there might be an ending here. We might have to check here later. Yeah, this is the original detonation ending. Alright, just gonna go through. I don't want to look around too much just in case they added <laughs> stuff. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I'm ready. Bonk. Death. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no, no other way to beat this game. Let it happen. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you 
Don't choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Squish. Yep. So the button ending is just always available for you? Yep. That's cool. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Is that new? Yeah, okay, I feel safe here. No, I'm Alright, so, no, try setting into spot for a little bit. Did they just flavor text, I think? Pew, pew. Ficus. This Ficus is friend. Okay, maybe there's nothing new. Okay. Oh, that door is open again. Okay. All right, you want to start going? Oh wait, let's do the downstairs ending, I guess. Yeah. Oh wait, is there anything different in this room? Open doors, he nope. The door Can't head. you close both doors and that's an ending? Yeah. No. Nope. But can't you just sit there and it'll frustrate the narrator? Oh! Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Teleport and go it again. He might find an oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Hmm. Broom. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything again. Alright, downstairs we go. To a staircase, Stanley walked I kind of really wanted to see what's up at the washroom, but I have no idea what's in there. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, I might look it up later if we're still stumped. But Stanley just Try getting in the car. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive Wait, was this say 12 before? Taken that risk. Yeah, well, that's, he believed it's been like that. Everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something and occurred. Now it repeats. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked My feet! Out? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying. And began to gently float above the ground. We then he mm. imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too Whee! appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, 
The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. Push the buttons. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Bleh. This. I forgot that was such a long ending. Yeah, it still goes. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Yep, just leave a corpse there, you know. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Well, I never said that. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to right, go to the, time to get the right. Perhaps he had simply missed yep. a memo. I think there's an ending where you go back through here. The music's different. What do you mean the music's different? Try the doors. Nice. That's a nice song. Yeah, it's different. Is that cool. RPG music? It sounds familiar. They're going to the computers. That's got to be like a computer game. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh, watch, it's gonna shut in front of me. Oh. 